Peggy 16 The Taken King is the next major chapter in the Destiny Saga. It involves Oryx, an ancient hive king born from darkness, and he's come to the system with a single goal in mind, revenge. You took my son. There's a cabal base on Phobos, and something's going on there, we're not quite sure. And the Vanguard have sent you to go investigate. We've intercepted a cabal distress signal on Phobos. Be ready for anything. It's clear that the cabal are not leading an invasion, but they're actually fleeing from an enemy. Oryx is here, and he's brought with him an evil army of corrupted Taken. Combatants that have been ripped out of our dimension and sent back with new powers and new abilities. And they're going to challenge players in new ways. You might be fighting against the Cabal or the Hive, and all of a sudden, Orx drops his troops in there, and now you're fighting a completely different set of enemies. We want the tone to impress urgency on you. We want you to start to feel like, wow, this Oryx, he's here, he's coming for me and my friends, and we have to stop him. Because we want to wear his a like a hat. Like, we, we, just. we wanted to do something that retained elements of where the Taken came from, but that unified them. So uh, they've got like this supernatural flame that's burning them from the inside. And because we wanted to communicate their will being erased, they tend to have jitter in their animations and sort of a tortured look to them. One of the design goals for the Taken was to make the alien races of Destiny feel even more alien. In The Taken King, you're gonna to go to a new destination. Oryx is Dreadnought, his massive castle in the sky, and you're gonna to have to explore it, and you're gonna to have to track him down and find him. It's like a giant, evil mausoleum. There are puzzles that, at first, you might not discover. You might not even understand. They've got prisons, summoning pits, they've got ceremony, and all those things are combined in this giant, floating fortress. The place is ancient, it's millions of years old, and it's filled with loot. The city and the vanguard realized we're not powerful enough to stop Oryx. We need to rediscover some of the lost arts of our forebears. And so you're sent off on the quest to discover these former powers that Guardians used to have. We have three new subclasses, the Night Stalker, the Stormcaller, and the Sunbreaker. The Night Stalker gives the Hunter a support class that he doesn't have right now, and allows him to bind his enemies with a Void-powered bow and arrow. He brings that bow back, hits a guy, charges up, and then goes out, captures the other guys, instead of just like a one-off, like It's just a little bit more, uh, Exciting. The Warlock is the Storm Caller. Involves calling for a storm of arc energy to decimate your, your enemies. Gets down in crouch pose and then blasts out, lightning strikes him. He becomes infused with that energy and now you're just roaming the map like an electric god. The Titan Sunbreakers are Solar Titan subclass. You get to wield this awesome flaming hammer. He crouches down, like creates that hammer, and then just throws it. We wanted it to feel like anytime you come around the corner and you see that guy, you just want to run.
Mayhem is a brand new competitive mode in the Crucible. We wanted to see what happened when we let ability energy recharge and super energy recharge really quickly. How will you fare against utter chaos, Guardians? And that's where the name Mayhem comes from. So it's essentially team deathmatch, but everything is turned up to 11. Rift is Destiny's answer to a capture the flag style objective mode. Your team has to grab the spark and then bring it to the enemy team's Rift. There's two ways you can do it. You can go in forwards and do the traditional mm, dunk it right in. You can also backflip dunk, which nets you extra points for style. If the enemy team grab it, you have the spark. You then have to defend your point and make sure they don't bring the spark into your rift. Destiny is a persistent world that is constantly moving forward. And this fall with the Taken King, it's taking a major leap. There's a new villain, new places to go, new enemies. There's new subclasses, there's all new exotics, new public events, new patrols, everything. We're doing amazing stuff with weapons that we're not even ready to talk about yet. We have new progress for your characters. Your guardians are gonna become more powerful than they've ever been. And yes, we're gonna have a whole bunch of new strikes and we have listened, like we know Valistark has too much health, we get it. We have rooms that begin to feel like bosses. They're like a tip in the next direction that we're gonna go. And the team's been hard at work crafting our next big raid. We're on the forums, we're reading Reddit, we're reading NeoGAP, we're seeing what people like, what they don't like. We want them to see like speculative posts about what's where and what's how and how does this all work? Is there an extra chest in the vault of glass? Like I'll never tell. Those are the sorts of narratives that we want to tell as we begin year two. And yeah, year two begins with Destiny the Taken King.